Hello, hello, and welcome to Tasmania Vibes. Today I'm with Casey, and we have come to Bradgate Park. It's another heritage site, and we are at the ruins mm -hmm. of the Lady Jane Grey. Sad story, we will talk about it as we go. So, this will be an educational haunted adventure, should we say? Yeah, it was a sad story. It was a very sad story. Bless very young, bless her. There's been loads of sightings around the area. We're going to walk around the ruins. Ooh, yes. Ribbons and have a look. So let's get into it. Oh. Okay. Sure I thought they walked out this gate. I thought they did as well. Oh, there's the wall there, look. Yeah. Ruins. Mushroom trees. Mushroom trees. This was, was there a name for it? Bradgate House? Yeah, yeah there so. was. I'm pretty sure there's some mentally ill people. They've bricked up the windows. I'm not sure why they've bricked up the windows. It was Bradgate House. Oh, it was Bradgate House? Yeah. It was Bradgate House, it was called. This was made in the 1500s, if I believe. That's correct. I will tell you where I found it. Views. The tower. No, the tower is up there. That's the tower up there. Up there? Yeah. So this area is only open from certain times of the year for some strange reason. Don't actually know why. It's summer months. But it's fucking beautiful still. Very, again, very sad backstory. This is the entrance. But again, it's closed. Let's close. Some more ruins. I can't actually get round, so I'll have to show you in. Like this. Haunted. Haunted, haunted. It's said that then like, on New Year's Eve she leaves Bradgate House. Lady Jane Jane Grey. Leaves the ruins of a childhood home in a coach pulled by four black horses. Ooh. Most yeah. visitors congregate on the main paved path. But the original drive route was from the back of the house, so your present approach would be a better view point. So this was so this is the back of the house. This is the back of the house. This is what's left from the 1500s, Lady Jane Grey. This was her childhood home. Okay, so to start off this story, there was a little girl called Lady Jane Grey. She was the granddaughter of Henry VII. So she was basically sold by her parents at a young age to clean up people's houses, gardens, you know, just work for, for money. And as she got older, her parents actually sold her to try and get her into the royal family. It wasn't allowed, but they did it. No, it wasn't allowed, but they still did it anyway. Pushed her in. She was yeah. groomed by she, them Yes, as well. she was groomed. Very bad. Very, very bad. Right, again, she was under 16, she was, she was still a minor. I know that it wasn't such a big deal back in those days, was it really? Because no. It's a bit horrific. 
but she was under 16, she was still a minor. She was sold to Lord, Lord Admiral Seymour for just £2,000. And unfortunately, they did get caught. And it was actually Lady Jane Grey herself who got executed for the crime, mm. treason. Even though it was her parents' fault? Even, yes, even though it was her parents' they fault. Give, um, she didn't want to. £2,000 to make sure that she yeah. got in with the royal family so she could marry King Edward. Yes. King Edward. Because of this, she was taken to the Tower of London and she was executed and somehow she managed to make her way back at home here at Bradgate Park to this Bradgate house, this is her childhood home. She moved here when she was two years old, so she's been here, she was here for quite a while before she was executed. Mm. Grow up here. Yeah. It's a childhood home. Yeah. It's such a beautiful place. Let me just quickly yeah. show you around. There's a lot of people here. But it's huge it goes on for miles even after the ru ruins ruins so the house actually took 31 years to build from the information available that's, that's yeah what it says. so in 1499 apparently this is when the house was started to get built and it finished in 1530 yeah yeah so it took quite a while for it to be built anyway it was back in the day so fun facts though about these red bricks obviously in the 1500s it was known for people to <laughs> it's known for anyone to have the red brick it was a sign of wealth because everyone else had like stone houses as you can see like at the bottom here it's all stone and then it goes red brick on top sign of wealth so it is it's a sign of wealth to have the red brick the family just all they wanted was money and power which is why they actually sold her into trying to get her into the royal family that was all they cared about so I know it's not an uncommon thing for parents to not really give a damn about their kids because obviously trafficking and things like that happens a lot. It's just sad, like the whole story is just sad because she was so young as well and no one helped and she was the one that was executed for something that she didn't even want to do, she didn't want to partake in it and her parents still forced her to do it anyway. So what happened to them? Yeah, I wonder. Hmm gonna have a little walk around see all the animals it's a beautiful nature site so i do recommend coming to bradgate park let's have a little look around oh, oh, this is your back garden it's beautiful yes Sitting down for two minutes. Cute little bench. It's a cute little bench. I feel like I need to sing a river song. Call me a river. It's the only song I know. <laughs> That's got a river in it. <laughs> oh, is that song? Um, for the, the princess and the frog. Oh, is it? Going down the bayou. No, I don't I, know I, that I, one. I don't know. I've seen princess and the frog. I think I was thinking of, um, is it Mulan? Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Like Pocahontas. Where the way she jumps into the river. She. Oh, I remember going to see that. It's seven years. <laughs> That's how old I am. <laughs> the ruins over there. So this would have been their oh, their grounds, wouldn't it? This would have been their grounds. Yeah. I'll go see that. What deer? Albino deer. It's probably not an albino. It's probably not an albino. Don't, don't. I'll say, don't take your education off me, but I'm a homeschool teacher, so. <laughs> is that, is that albino deer thing? Don't get, uh, is it many, a thing? Many deers on the, on the main road. No. Albino deer. Could be a thing. Must be a thing. You can get albino rabbits, so don't see why it's not an albino deer. Look at them. Uh -huh. They know we're coming. They're looking at us. What do you want? Huh? Okay. We want to be one of you. It's okay if we can't get to you because there's a river in the way. We just want to look at you and appreciate you from a distance, Clara. Hey. Bye. 
going, Bee? Where are you going? Is that, is that an albino? Albino deer. It's very white. This is not allowed to be on this point. Oh. Well, there's a sign. Here's me again. There's no signs. There's a sign there. Save the trees. Show me a signal. It is a thing. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That might be an albino there. Proper ones, though, I don't know. It says that they're rare in the UK, and oh. there's a handful of sightings in the wild reported over the last few decades. Oh, there we go. More knowledge there, people. Albino deers are a thing, very rare here in the UK, but they do exist. One in 30,000 albino deer. Okay, walk through, probably have to walk around longer. Longer. Wise words from the Tasmania vibes. Work smarter, not harder. Yes. Hi, tree. How you doing? Oh, you've got lovely roots. Lovely roots. Nice. So nice. So nice. I'm just watching it. Okay, so that's the end of our video. I hope you found it educational as much as we did. We were so fascinated when we found out everything about Lady Jane Grey. And sad. And very sad. And oh my sad. God, it was so sad, especially coming from a mum's point of view and all. Yeah. So sad. So sad. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and I shall see you next time. Bye.